$2,400. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rare Wealth Benefits with a 20% lifetime increase and a step up every year. Meantime, viewers continue to get big monies and you should be the next person for rent, utilities, food, and medicine. This is money that is available for all the viewers of this channel and now we have no less than six helpers and an additional person stepping up to help you get the money. This is money right now and, re and people are getting upwards of $24,000 because of this channel within two days. Meantime, a half a trillion dollars gone overnight. Yes, Steve Mnuchin continues to bring back in money from Unused Kids Act 1 programs and is putting it away that cannot be used. But in other news, Steve Mnuchin says a stimulus deal will be hatched in the next few days. How soon and how quickly? I'll have the shocking details for you as well. Meantime, Wall Street, economists say, send out multiple stimulus checks, not one, and start sending them out right now. So are multiple stimulus checks going out and how big would they be? Meantime, the pressure's underway for both Donald Trump, Steve Mnuchin, and Mitch McConnell to do stimulus during the holiday season. So will stimulus checks go out? And how important is it to use the resources of this channel to get money right now from CARES Act 1, Unemployment Benefits Escalated, and EIDL, which is paying around 24 hours from date of application? It's all brand news this morning. Meantime, one of the nation's biggest cities announces a rent grant program just in the last 24 hours. I'm here, and I'm so glad you joined me for Wednesday Mornings LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday's morning, LA Light. I'm so glad you joined me, and thank you for joining me on early mornings, LA Light. Yes, Purple Power Live last night had about as many technical difficulties as a hairstylist in San Francisco trying to do her hair, so it literally had every technical difficulty available. I hope it does not occur again tonight. None of them were my doing, but needless to say, um, someone did not pay the electric bill. Call Mitch. <laughs> It might be his fault, uh, but hopefully that problem does not occur yet again. But boy, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do, because no one is getting you money right now, not five days from now, not five weeks from now, and not five months from now. And overnight, one major city announces a rent program that went live. Elsewhere, elsewhere in the state of California, rent uh, food programs just went live everywhere. So I and utilities as well. So I want you to stay with me because I am battling to get you money. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here during the holiday season. I'm here during Thanksgiving. I'll be recording all day today and all day tomorrow. And I'm adding additional programming yet tonight and tomorrow for Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Eve. Special programming, not just to get you money but during the holidays, during the next few days, but also to keep your spirits up, to keep you entertained, and to keep you lively. And I have a new volunteer who's available for you to reach out to if you have questions about stress, anxiety, or any just want someone to talk to. That's the spirit of this community, but the real focus in the next few days is getting you money, thousands of dollars for rent utilities and for food, and I'm helping and fighting for you every step of the way. I'm not leaving you, so stay with me. Uh, please subscribe because no one is finding to get you this money right now, and I'll go over more about it in this video. Also, like this video. It really helps in the algorithm. The algorithm has been a little screwy, a little screwy the last two days. It's keeping videos ranked that are five days old, that have old information, so we don't want that. We want new stuff that's fresh up to the top. Boy, I have a lot to go over in this video. In this video, I will be going over what I touched on on early mornings LA. The shocking detail that a half trillion dollars is now gone. Yes. Stimulus money from CARES Act 1, half trillion, now gone. And some viewers literally thought this was the second coming of uh, the Titanic. Um, let me give you my perspective on it. And let me re remind you as I start this video that the $500 billion of CARES Act 1 at SBA is still there. Thank goodness, it's still there. That amounts to a $5,000 stimulus check. That's still there. Is it going to stay there? I'm going to go over that in a, in a second. Meantime, I'll be going over what Steve Mnuchin said 
about returning that money, but also sending out stimulus checks during the holiday season. Interesting dichotomy. So I'm going to be going over that. So stay with me, breaking developments overnight. Third, what economists are saying from Wall Street about multiple stimulus checks, they want them to go out right now. Fourth, I'll be going over money for you right now. This is CARES Act One money. This is Escalade Benefits. This is EIDL. Then I'll be going over $2,400 for SSI and SSDI and the 20% increase lifetime and also going over the step up. And finally, I'll be going over what uh, personal notes I'll be delivering you in the next 24 hours. A lot of fun. I'm gonna, we're going to have a lot of party here, and we have a lot of uh, uplifting amid a lot of turmoil in Washington. I'm bringing you down and grounded and very uh, up, uh, focused and uh, having you, a lot, having you have an, an enjoyable 24 hours with me. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that Steve Mnuchin last Friday told the Federal Reserve to return unused CARES Act 1 money that was currently sitting at the Main Street Lending Program. If you're a new viewer in the last two months or subscriber to this channel, you may never have heard that term. If you're an original viewer of this channel, you've heard the term a lot. It was a program launched in the CARES Act 1 program that was a bomb. It was unpopular. I reported on it and people got excited and ultimately we looked at it and it was a bomb. So he asked for them to shut it down and return the money. That money was returned on Monday, as soon, Monday yesterday. Uh, well, not two days ago, <laughs> two days ago. As soon as the money was returned, he locked it up. It's gone. Meantime, other money that came in from unused CARES Act 1 programs, he also locked it up. It's gone. By, mean, by saying it's locked up and gone, it means that Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats cannot use it, and the President cannot use it for executive orders, unless an act of Congress starts the money over. Basically, the money's back in the bank. It's gone. Let's make it very simple. So what about the remainder of the money that's out there? Well, that CARES Act 1 money that's currently at SBA, that $800 billion that would amount to a $5,000 stimulus check that the president can do by executive orders all the way into January, that is still there. It's at SBA. It's $800 billion. It amounts to a $5,000 stimulus check. Will the president do it? He can do it. Will he do it? He said he would in the past send you out a stimulus check. He has done executive orders before. He has the constitutional authority. So will he emotionally do it? I don't know. Um, the money is there. And ultimately, Purple Power, you need to share this video and tag Mitch McConnell and his communications director saying just do a quick bill just for this CARES Act 1 money. Set it out as a $5,000 stimulus check. Nothing else in the bill. Just that five hundred, that $800 billion. You don't even have to refer to it as $800 billion. Just the CARES Act 1 money that's at SBA, the unused PPP. Send it out as a stimulus check, $5,000. Just do that as one bill. And that would just make a big difference for the American people. Next, what about that other money? Well, here is what I've been warning you. And this is a warning that there's all these things out there that are expiring. This money, which I'm getting getting you, and I'm going to go over there second. That that money for rent and utilities, that's all expiring in mid December. That's coming home as well. So that's coming in. SBA's money, I believe, is coming in. More about that in a second. But I basically think EIDL is shutting its doors in a few weeks. That money is going to be coming in. It's all going to be gone. So what does this mean in a negative light? Let me tell you what it means in a negative light. In a negative light, it's basically saying, hey, I'm Steve Mnuchin. I offered you $1.9 trillion, Nancy Pelosi. You didn't want it. Uh, and we could have re and on Friday, last Friday, I offered you to repurpose existing CARES Act 1 money and send it out as a stimulus check. You didn't want that either. So you know what? I'm getting rid of the money. And guess what? If you want to do a bill, come back to me with $500 billion because one, one nine is no longer on the table. It's gone. It's half a trillion dollars. And ironically, that's actually my prediction of what's going to happen. That Steve Mnuchin, Mark Meadows, as they slowly uh, begin to exit, are repeating what Mitch McConnell will be saying in January with, or, uh, and, and every single day up to January throughout the holiday season, which is fine. Uh, 1.9 is gone. It's, it's $500 billion. Maybe it's $600 billion, but that's all 
we're doing. And if you want to do it, it has to go through Congress and it can't be done any other easier way. And so I think that's sort of where we're going. It's not anything negative for you because ultimately you can get stimulus checks in a $500 billion deal. Um, it, it, would account, it, it, could, it could account for stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment benefits, PUA, UI. It could even include hazard pay. But ultimately, it's basically a, yeah, I told you so. You should have taken my offer. Now it's gone and I'm going back to where I think we're going to end up. And actually, Wall Street thinks that's where we're going to end up now. So that's that thing. Then Steve Mnuchin, in the last 24, 48 hours, said, you know what? I will be working with Mitch McConnell and Mark Meadows to come up with a second stimulus deal to be done during the holidays and to give it to the Democrats. And we'll be writing the bill. Really encouraging news. Until you see the qualifier to the sentence, he says, we'll be working on the next few weeks. Next few weeks? <laughs> <laughs> You're gone in the next few weeks. Uh, next few weeks is January. Uh, doing when? Are you going to ride at the moment you're walking out the door uh, in, in, on January 20th? Uh, next few weeks, I, you know, maybe you said next few days, but next few weeks? So that's sort of crazy. Uh, next, what's going on with economists? Economists have written Walsh, have written Congress to say out, say out, say send out multiple stimulus checks. They say not one, but multiple stimulus checks need to be sent out right now. Again, this is a letter to Congress. You can write a letter to Congress. I can, I can make 500 videos about t t to Congress, and I think I sort of have. Um, will Congress listen? You know, uh, needless to say, someone made a video yesterday and got a quarter million, uh, half a million views with the, with suggesting that Congress was going to do what the letter, what the letter from the Economist said. Congress is not doing what the letter said, so God bless that person uh, with that fake narrative. Um, next, uh, what's important to understand is that $2,400 SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, yes. Joe Biden wants you to have three things if you're on on SSI, SSDI, and Social Security and Railroad Benefits. He wants you to have $2,400, He wants you, and that's $200 a month every month all the way from now up to December. Again, as another person falsely said on some channel, $2,400 reoccurring checks? No, it's not reoccurring checks of $2,400. Now it's making it sound like it's $20,000 of SSI money. It's just, God, it's just like something starts and then suddenly it's a whole other version. It's $200 a month, every month, from now to the end of next year, which would amount to $2,400 total, not reoccurring checks of $2,400. Lower than, uh, he wants to have an increase up to 20% a lifetime. And he wants to have a new benchmark that would increase your benefits uh, year to date. So what's important to understand is the $2,400 is $200 every month, and that's COVID-related. Second, the lifetime increase has nothing to do with COVID. He just says you're behind on pay, on you're behind on scheduling. You should have been paid a lot more over the years. He's right. And he wants to increase you year to date so you don't get left behind again. I love that. All really great news. This is not money right now. I'm going to be very clear to you. It's not money right now. This is money right after. So let's get to money right now. One, two, three ways you get money right now. The first one is CARES Act 1 money. Go to the community channel of this video. If you don't know where the community page of this channel is, I'm going to drop it in a, in a, in a, in a uh, comment to this video. It'll say community page. And on the community page, you will see there that I give you the resources that I'm referring to in this video. And I have five volunteers, six volunteers, uh, who are there to help you if you go through the process and you can't find it yourself, don't just have someone just do it for you and say, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm tired. Can you just go do it for me? Uh, let me explain to you how you get this money. And what's reoccurring and reassuring and so positive and so invigorating is people are getting tens of thousands of viewers, uh, tens of thousands of dollars. Tyrone jumped into the live chat last night on Purple Power Live before it imploded, <laughs> before it imploded that said, hey, LLA got me help encourage me to give me $14,000 in rent for me and my family of four for one year for uh, Massachusetts. And I got to say that very loudly, Massachusetts, because you know why? I had a lot of viewers getting in the comments early on on Thursday and Friday saying, Massachusetts closed. There's nothing in Massachusetts. He said, hogwash, hogwash. LA told me, keep on looking. I found it. Um, or Eugene, Oregon. Uh, 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 someone had initially said there's nothing in Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. One year, another viewer got it in Oregon. Uh, here's an example. 
in San Diego. People, some people in California say there's nothing in California. Hogwash, San Diego just went live with their rent program in the last 48 hours. So what's important to understand is two things are happening. One, some of these programs are just being announced. Two, some of these programs are not where you're looking. So if you don't find it, don't say it doesn't exist. You're looking in the wrong place. What's really great news in the last 24 hours is I think that the viewers of this channel now understand, one, this money is available for you. Two, all this money qualifies for all of you. It qualifies for you if you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans, Veterans, Disabled, Seniors, Young, Old, Married, Divorced, a Working, or Not Working, Ahead on the Rent, Behind on the Rent, Paid Up on the Utilities, Not Paid Up on the Utilities. I think I've pushed loud enough with too much spiky hair yesterday uh, to get the message out loud and clear. This qual you qualify for this. So I think I'm over that hump of, of disbelief. You qualify for this now. So now we're at the, the point, the threshold of where to find it, which is fine, which is good. Now I can spend more time on you focusing on where to find it. And, and now I see that I see less people understand, more people understanding that you shouldn't just use one method. You need to use multiple methods. So let's go over it for CARES Act one money. It's in your city, your county, and your state. Where do you call? First, let's do phone, let's do internet, and let's do the social media. The phone, you call city hall. Two, you call your state, your, your county hall. Your county offices are different than your city offices. We all live in a county and we all live in a city. Call the county as well. Next, call the state housing authority. I'll say that again, state housing authority. Next, call each of your utility companies, your water company, your gas company, your, your electric company. Call each of them. Okay, now you know who you're calling. What do you say? I'm looking to see if you have any rent assistance programs. I'm, I'm having problems paying my rent because of COVID. Very simple. That's all you say. You don't say anything else than that. I'll say it again. I want to see if you're, you have any rent assistance programs. I'm having problems paying my rent because of COVID. Um, they sometimes, now between you and I, they sometimes would refer to it as rent grants or utility grants or food grants. Um, that, but the word grants, G-R-A-N-T-S, has caused some confusion for some call center operators because they think it means something other than what you and I refer to it as mean. So that's why I'm using very simple words like assistance and help and explain what you're referring to. Don't refer to me. Don't refer to the you. Don't refer to YouTube. Say, um, I'm calling to see if you have any assistance or help for rent utilities. And how do I get it? Um, next, you go on the internet. Every city and county has their own website, and all those websites have the ability to get the money on them as well. Next, um, and, and when you're on the websites, you look for and you look for the grants as well. And utility companies, they all have it on their utility and uh, utility company websites. Next, escalated benefits. What's important to understand for escalated benefits is this is every viewer of this channel who's on unemployment or is on PUA at any time in the year 2020. Um, the only viewers who don't qualify for this are people who are never on unemployment, and you understand who you are. So Escalate Benefits, boy, this has been a very big hit. It's very simple, and that's why it's such a hit. You pull your 2019 tax return, you look at it, you scan it, you put it in your computer, okay? Then you write a letter, Dear Unemployment Department, please look at my 2019 tax return. I think I qualify for more weekly benefits. Just very simple. I think I qualify for more weekly benefits. Please take a look at it and get back to me based upon my 2019 earnings. Very simple. Where do you send it? You send it to your unemployment department. How do you send it? You send it through their electronic means via email or through their through their website. Um, what it, what is the benchmark? The benchmark is very simple. If you made, if you've been on unemployment since February, that's about 30 weeks, and you made and, and if you've been on unemployment for 30 weeks, this is how much money you'll get. If you made $30,000 or more in 2019, you'll raise your weekly benefits about $300 a week. So you'll get about $9,000 retroactively.
Next, if you made twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars in two thousand nineteen, you'll raise your bet weekly benefits about a hundred dollars a week retroactively for thirty weeks, which is three thousand dollars. Next, if you made eighteen thousand to twenty-five thousand in two thousand nineteen, you'll raise your weekly benefits about fifty dollars a week for 30 weeks retroactively, which is about $1,500. Bam, 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 $3,000, $9,000, $1,500, bam, into your account. Next, EIDL. EIDL is the big winner. EIDL is the big winner because I gotta tell you this, and this is a personal note between you and I. I've done EIDL since February. I've gotten viewers five to $25 million. I've done thousands. I don't know how many thousands of EIDLs I've gotten approved. Maybe 10,000, 20,000. I don't I have no idea. I've never seen SBA do EIDL approvals in 24 hours as often as I've seen in the last few days. And my belief, and this is my belief between you and I, is they're closing it down. It's going to be gone in a few weeks. So you need to do EIDL right away. You do EIDL if you're, on, if you're a gig worker, Grubhub, SB, um, um, a truck driver, uh, Uber, Lyft, um, a hair stressor, anything that you have a Schedule C. Anything that you have a Schedule C on your, on your tax return. It's very simple. And I don't care if you also had a W-2. It's if you also had a Schedule C. So you work at Macy's, but you're also a makeup designer on the side, a makeup uh, artist on the side. So long as you declared on your 2019 earnings. Also, if you did not have the business, but had the business on January 1st, and that business was in business between January, for, anytime between January 1st and March, you can also apply. You need a 570 Experian Vantage 3.0 score, which is very low. Um, you can go do Experian Boost to raise the 25 points. Remember, it's Experian. Experian Vantage 3.0, only that, and you can also call up Experian to raise it. When you go to apply, you go to sba.gov and you use your social security number, your personal name, your personal bank account, and uh, at, when you're applying for a Schedule C type business, it's very simple. And viewers are absolutely getting ten, fifteen, twenty-five thousand dollars in twenty-four hours because of this channel. And viewers generally are getting that plus escalated benefits. So if you did EIDL, go do escalated benefits also. Um, and finally, if you are a viewer who is doing rent, food, and all those other things, you may also qualify for um, Escalate Benefits and EIDL. Finally, when you're doing uh, when you're doing Cares Act One money, understand you're focusing first on rent, and then you're going to, f to utilities, and then you're going to food. Finally, a personal note. On a personal note, I really want to thank everyone for being a part of this incredible family. As we reach Thanksgiving in the last, next 24 hours, I'm not going anywhere. And programming will actually not decrease, but increase. I'll be going live more often, perhaps with, with very little uh, prior announcement. I'll just be, here I am, I'm live. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is keeping your spirits up during the holiday, 20, during the holiday season of Thanksgiving. Uh, I want you to have a lot of fun. I don't want you to feel alone. I don't want you to go to big gatherings. I don't want you to be around a lot of people in the next 24 hours because of Thanksgiving. I want you to be safe. And as a result, I will try to be on location if I can. I'll try to be on studio outside. I'll try to be in different locations so you feel as though we're having a party and it's all care feet. Meantime, I'll also be available to answer your questions. That's the spirit of the Thanksgiving, giving thanks, helping others. And I hope that you really stay tuned with me in the next 24 hours because we're gonna have a lot of fun. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and save that life for more.